yep sugar so it may seem like a weird time to talk about having to make syrup and feed um, we're in the middle of our flow but we just had a week of pouring down rain maybe the last rain we get for two months three months um, and what I've noticed is that some of my colonies are hungry um, it's not the big strong ones that add supplies up it's the weak ones so I've got mating nukes out there that are small they don't have a lot of field bees to go out and bring in stuff so their supplies dwindle really quickly when the, the rain comes in and they can't get out and the temperature drops so the other I found was some of the smaller weaker colonies that are struggling along when that temperature drops and they have to keep more bees in the colony to keep the brood warm to keep it alive they have less forager bees so they consume their resources in the colony pretty quickly trying to feed the brood and keep the bees alive and keep it warmer uh, that takes energy they're not in hibernation like they are in the winter where they're all you know fairly dormant and they're not keeping brood warm um, now they're having to spread out and generate heat uh, to, to keep these guys warmed up and you know it's been warm we had some days up in the up mid 90s or so so they've got a lot of ventilation on the colonies all of them are opened up for some pretty good ventilation but now when the temperatures drop you know even though we're not down in the freezing or anything but it's sustained cooler temperatures they still have the ventilation the hive is cooling hence they have to keep the brood warm or it will die um, and that that takes a lot of work so they consume their their resources then the next stage is they start reducing brood um, if they run completely out of resources or they just all get real lethargic and die um, I opened a mating nuke the other day that was very lethargic and I'm like what's wrong with you guys it's not that cold out um, when I realized they had no food and it was cold enough they couldn't go out and get any and there wasn't enough flow on and they didn't have enough bees for field bees and they were starving so you know i'm having to make up some syrup i have to make some mating nukes today so i have my saskatraz queens coming out i haven't had time to set up my big mixer syrup mixer yet so uh, back to the old style got uh made a two to one syrup because it'll keep longer and then i can water it down to one to one to feed it so uh, i put five gallons of water in his tank and 100 pounds of sugar uh, warmed it up till i got it to go into solution then i put in a cup and a quarter of honeybee healthy so I should probably put a dab of bleach in it. That'll help keep it from going bad, mildewing a little quicker and not hurt the bees. But anyway, that's where it's at. So, you know, you, you need to be paying attention to the colonies, even when you think everything is honky-dory and, and uh, you know, they, they can go get their own food. Sometimes when they're little, they can't. And they need that help. And it, I should have had pollen patties on some of these others too. I've, just started putting some on my uh, mating nukes because I'm going to let them go ahead and lay until they're cap and brood um, and they don't have a lot of bees in there so they need again to warm that brood they need to feed the brood so they're getting a little bitty miniature pollen patties um, anyway it seems like every time a guy turns around he's doing something wrong or didn't do something he should have done so Anyhow, this is how we learn, and I share it with you guys, so maybe you don't have to make the same mistakes, or you go out and catch it now. Say, oh man, yeah, a couple of these do need a little bit of extra help. So, anyhow, hope, uh, hope it helps somebody.